Shalom, Israel. I'd like to start out by saying all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And today's lesson is a video I stumbled across. It's about a so-called black woman and she had a vision and she comes up on YouTube and she starts prophesying. So we all know that we in the truth, you know, a woman is not supposed to do that. She's supposed to take those visions or dreams, take that to her husband or take that to the elders so that, you know, they could go out and spread the word and decipher, you know, the dream. Whether it is a dream or whether, you know, it's actual vision sent from the most high. So with that said, let's go to a couple of scriptures and we're going to go into first Timothy chapter two, verse 12. And it reads, but I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over a man, but to be in silence. So that right there shows you that she's not supposed to be doing that. She's not supposed to be going online, posting her videos and quoting scriptures. She's going way off. But being since she's a Christian, she don't know any better. And then we're going to go into Revelations 2 and 20, which reads, Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee. Because thou sufferest a woman Jezebel, which called herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants, to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. So this woman, she's coming on YouTube and, you know, she's prophesizing and she's going to cause more Israelites to go off. You know, they're going to be thinking that, you know, she's a prophet or something like that or she's a prophetess. And, you know, that's way off. So we already know that, you know, women is not from the previous precept that women is not supposed to prophesy or teach. They're supposed to learn in silence. So uh, let's go into some more precepts. Okay, so we're going to go to, and this just came up, and I ain't even really expect it to come up like that. So, but it's a good thing. All things do come through the spirit of the Most High. So it reads in Ephesians 5 and 18, And be not drunk with wine, wherein in excess, but be filled with the spirit. So don't be filled up with, you know, all these false delusions, these false doctrines, you know, be filled with the spirit, you know, because that's going to have you going off. That's going to have you going into a road to destruction. And uh, Revelations 17 is two and two is the actual one that I was actually looking for. And it reads with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with our wine of a fornication. So what's the fornication? Fornication is not physical fornication. It's, you know, spiritual fornication. You know, you worship in all these, praising all these other, other gods and these false doctrines, you know, practicing all these false doctrines, you know, and that's the one that's making you drunk. But, you know, from this video, you know, if you go back to the video, this woman you know, some of the stuff she's speaking is true, you know, but the thing is that that's not, you know, what's going to save you, you know, you're going to call upon, you know, Jesus Christ, and that's not going to save you. You need to call on, you know, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah in the time of trouble. So, you know, and you need to repent and Jesus Christ ain't going to save you. Christianity ain't going to save you. White Jesus ain't going to save you, you know, only Yahweh Shah is going to save you, you know, through his father, Yahweh, you know, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. So, 
Um, also in Revelations 18 and 3, it reads, For all nations have drunk the, of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. So we all know that fornication is these doctrines, these ideologies, you know, we also know that, you know, that, uh, you know, this place is going to be destroyed. And if you watch the video, I strongly suggest that you watch the video. You're going to see for yourself that, you know, what I'm talking about with this woman, you know, maybe I could play a little bit of it and see if she gets into it. Turn the volume up. Okay. Oh. And post videos or, or give uh, prophetic dreams or anything like that. This is the first time that it's happened, but. I do have to be obedient to what the spirit has shown me and get this message out. So I first and foremost pray that you all listen to this with an open heart and open mind. And don't just take what I'm saying from my mouth. But those of you who know the Lord, pray about it for yourself. So let me go back. A message that um, God gave me last night in a dream and woke me up with this morning and gave me the revelation of it and told me to put it out to his people. Um, if you guys know me, you know that this is the first video like this that I have ever posted because I do not um, try to be the mouthpiece and post videos or, or give uh, prophetic dreams or anything like that. This is the first time that it's happened, but I do have to be obedient to what the spirit has shown me and get this message out. All right. So, yeah, say that she knows that she's not supposed to be doing this. But then if you go further on in the video, she goes full blown in the scriptures. I was pregnant and everything. And I could see. Let me see if I could find it for y'all. Vengeance on my adversaries and repay those who hate me. 42, I will make see? my arrows. She going off right blood. there. She quoting well, scriptures. She ain't supposed to be doing that. She ain't supposed to be doing that. You know, she, she knows she ain't supposed to be doing that. But she took that as an opportunity to come because, you know, see, look at, look at the cross around her neck. She got that cross. You know what I'm saying? She got that idol around her neck. You know what I'm saying? She going off. She drunk with the wine. And that's why I said it's not enough for, you know, for you to, for you to have these dreams and visions. You got to come up out of that. You know what I'm saying? Out of those false doctrines, that fornication. You know what I'm saying? You commit spiritual fornication. And y'all jakes out there, you know, y'all so-called... Blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics, you know, y'all so-called Negroes, y'all got to come up out of that, you know? So, you know, with that said, I want to say Shalom, and I hope y'all found this edifying.